And hello, it's what's new time. So Peter and I are back. Say hi from behind the Peter. Hello. Behind the camera, Peter. Oh, oh look, the faces are looking. We have a whole cart full of fabric. We actually have, I think, two or three carts full of fabric that is so new, it's not even on the floor yet. By the time you see this video, it will be on the floor, but we brought it back here where there's not a lot of customers yet because what happens as soon as they see the fabric, they want to buy the fabric. And so we don't have it ready yet for display. So we're trying to, to get that to happen. So let me show you what we've got. This, okay, this is Lanine's favorite. So when we order fabric, we always have to order this line because this company makes Lanine happy. It's Fig Tree, which is Joanna Figueroa. Say that name three times in a row fast. That's a kind of tough one. Um, and this is from the Moda Company. It's called Harvest Moon. And so, so they've stuck the barcodes in it. These, these aren't even priced yet. So I'm just going to kind of lay them out here. And look, okay, so I have to show you something. before. What you What did you find? So I'm in the yarn department. Well, it's the back end of the store. It's not really just yarn. It's cross stitch and wool and punch needle and embroidery. And here's this little squirrel. I want you to, want you to see, this is the staff. I'm not sure whose squirrel this is, but oh my gosh, I think she might. She has a little beret, look at her little hat, and she has a little shawl. There was a series that my son used to watch on TV that had a whole little village of animals. She would fit perfect. Look at her little tail. Okay, this is stinking cute. And then they have a sheep. I think the sheep has a little blanket on it or something. Oh, it's just a hat. But they're trying to make it look like it. Like this is this is what our staff does. She has a little headband on too. Isn't that funny? Oh my god. <laughs> but look at this little squirrel with her little shaw. Oh, that is too cute. Okay. So you can come visit the squirrel. I don't know what her name is, but she's really cute. You know what? If you left your flamingo back here. Could you could have no well actually what I was thinking is if you leave your flamingo back here you could have the staff knit and crochet it oh, up yeah. a whole outfit she needs something to cover yeah. her support hose because what if she overwinters that's true well now I had flamingos in my yard and I used to go out and I, <laughs> I would take fleece and put scarves on all of them <laughs> in the winter time when people drove by my house they were like really because I have flamingos out in my yard I know that's shocking to you and and I would put scarves on them all winter, like the little plastic, you know, the little retro flowing. They have little scarves on them. I'm crazy that oh, way. New fabric. New fabric. Yeah, isn't it exciting? Okay, so here we go. This is um, Joanna Figueroa's Fig Tree Moda. Really cool. Harvest Moon, it's called. These colors. Look at these. Mm, I'm in love with this. Just beautiful. Perfect for fall. Look at these. These are just luscious, 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 luscious. I don't think we've got a specific pattern for it, but Peter noticed the pattern behind me would actually make up really well in this. That's called a quilt factory. Wicked is the call of it, but man, it'd be perfect. It's all just half square triangles. You know how much we love half square triangles. Oh, you're good. There's a class getting ready to start, so there's all kinds of people walking past us. This is what it's like in a typical day. It always like, is stitches. Yeah, it's always somebody walking. Look at this one. Look at this one. That's Mary Bouvier. Is it whose class is it? Um, I think it might be Mary Bouvier's class. Nice. Got more. I'm going to tell you some more about some of her classes. She's adding classes. Look how pretty this is. You might have to get. Are we ready for the close-ups? I think you're ready for some close-ups. Look how pretty this is. Oh. I love that gray, it's almost a taupey gray color with that orange. Isn't that just yummy? What a pretty soft color for fall. Really fun. This is a great dot too, look at the dots. Can't go wrong with dots. Let me get some of these here real quick. Get these florals, yeah. Is the glare too bad on them? No. Excellent. These, I think, I love these, this kind of big, Hot, this is my favorite. Yeah, I think these are that lovely. Black and gray and white. Yeah, that's that's, that's beautiful. That's got a nice nice colorway. And this th again, that taupe color, it just it's really yummy. Um, this one just looks like little holly sprigs or or maybe bittersweet, some dandelions. This is my second favorite pattern. Sec well, you haven't seen them all yet. There might be more, but wait, there could be I more. I know I haven't seen them all. I haven't seen them oh, all. Oh, this is a new shape for her. That a is new a print. new shape. She doesn't typically do. 
Let's see, here we are again. Would that make a good binding? That'd no. make a great, well, yeah. You wouldn't have to bias no. cut it if you didn't want to. This, These are good. Look, there's the mirror image of this one. I love that. I love seeing these two pieces in a quilt because, you know, one's a dark and one's a light, but it's the same pattern. So it, it plays, but it, it plays fun together. I oh, that's it. a new print. Yeah, this is another new print. She's kind of adding to her stuff here. That might, one's I might fun. I'm going to have to get some of that one because I don't Harvest have that print. Spoon. Yeah, that's another one. She's another one that does these that they they cross over. Now there's, okay, here we are talking again. There's the two pieces, the light background with the dark background reverse. And I just love to see those in a quilt because it just does fun things with your eyes. This is a pretty I think it would make a good bag for fall. Like would, the Barbados bag maybe? Yeah, the Barbados bag. We've been, we've been talking about those, haven't we? You did a video where people can um, watch you learn to make the Barbados bag by Pink Sands Designs. Yep. And they can watch the tutorial and make a bag all their own. They can. You can buy just the single pattern and make it. Or actually you could do the whole class series with us. It's $120 for the whole class. You can still sign up. And that basically covers your patterns. Oh, look at that. There's your binding right there, Peter. That's gorgeous. That's your binding. Look at this. Here's another piece of that taupe. There's Bonnie. Bonnie wants Bonnie to be in the video. Bonnie wants to buy. She wants to play. She's going to get to put Bonnie? this out. It's, it's, it's fig beautiful. tree. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Oh, Look I love that. that print. See, that's your another favorite. And then here it is in the beigey <whistles> taupe color. Isn't that pretty? These mm -hmm. colors are awesome. They're beautiful. I, you couldn't ask for a better, better series. And that's Joanna. She just, that's what she does. She's just, she does the best. So, uh, remember, Fat Quarter Bundles, if you want one, call the orders department and say, I want one. I want, <laughs> Peter wants one. I'm going to get on my phone right now. The staff, the staff honestly gets the Fat Quarter Bundles. So he's picking up his phone, obviously, but you can't see. Him. But he's got the phone in the, his hand. Um, so, yeah, if you want a Fat Quarter Bundle of the entire line, and that's, that's the way to go, especially if you really like it and you don't know what you're going to do with it. Um, you could always do a fat quarter bundle and it, it just works itself out. So I would strongly suggest calling in orders. You can email orders too, um, rather than calling them if you want to send an email to orders to say, I saw that Moda Harvest Moon by Joanna Figueroa line and I'm ready to get an entire fat quarter bundle. Give me one of each and they'll price it out for you. It'll be the per yard price instead of the fat quarter price, which is a much better deal. Um, than buying the fat quarters individually. And while we're talking about deals, I'm going to mention that we are having a sale right now. Um, I don't know how soon it's going to end, so if you're even thinking about it, you ought to come in and take advantage of it. We're doing a sale in our solids department. I got to get this right. Buy three, no, buy, buy two, two yards. Get one free. Yeah, yeah, buy two yards of fabric, you can get a third yard free. Solid yeah. cotton, quilting cottons. Solid quilting cotton oh, only. 45 inch. 45 inch, that's all, that's the only ones. It's not our backings, it's not our cuddle, it's not all that, it's just standard quilting, quilting cottons. There's an entire corner of the store that's just solids and kind of tone on tones. They'll direct you to that department where the sale is going on. It is minimum one yard cuts, and um, so that means, you know, like you could get a three yard cut or you could get a one, one, and one. Um, but it is minimum one yard cuts and they will limit quantities if somebody's going crazy buying more than what we can think is reasonable. I mean, we got to have some fabric left in the department, right? <laughs> so let me do the math real quick. Yep. So if it's buy two, get one free and say, I want to do a back. Say, I just want it all to be one cut right. and I need, you know, six yards, six yards or nine yards or whatever it is. I'm getting how many yards free? Y'all, if you buy six, you're getting two yards free. If you buy nine, you're getting three yards oh free. God. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about that's right what there. I'm talking about. Yeah, and and solids. Gosh, who could use some solid? I mean, I, I love how the quilting shows up on solids for the backing. I do too. And I, I was working on some projects this weekend, and it was like I went to my stash, and I'm like, oh, I just have like four or five solid colors. I need to really build my stash on my solid colors. So, um, prints are great, but you also need solids. So, it's a good sale. Don't miss it. Um, this is airing in June 2023, so if you're watching it later, <laughs> it may not be happening. But call in and make sure that sale is still going on. Um, I have another sale coming towards the end of June. 
little teaser, won't tell you yet, but be watching for that one to come up. Uh, we'll run this one for a little bit longer, and then we have another sale coming up, because we're always, you know, we don't want to make money, we just want to sell fabric. We don't want to make money, we just money. love to we sell love to fabric. Sell I'm going to go get another cart and bring it out here, and so hang tight, we're going to show you another cart full of fabric. Here we are, we rolled that cart back, so it's going to go through processing. The Jennifer in our orders department, she puts the tags on it, gets it all ready to go. Um, that's part of the reason we do that, so she knows what came through, so she knows what's on the sales floor, because she is our in-store shopping concierge, if you want to talk to her for things. And Deborah too, they both they both uh, come in. Here comes. Here comes a handy quilter. No, it's a, it's a sewing table. Yes. Stephanie with the sewing table moving through. Do you want me to help you with that? I'll carry oh, it. I got it. All right. She's got, a little, it. she's got a little dance she's doing. Look at her dancing. She's dancing with the table. All right. <laughs> I, I can put down the camera and run it up there. The table, on the table. But on the table. <laughs> well, some of us have been known to do that occasionally too. Look at this little. This is how our staff managed to okay, that's creative. save their back. That is creative. Da, 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 we need to give me music. Good job, Missy. We have uh, toe dolly. Oh, well. Okay, so here we go. I mean, we got muscle. I know we do. Yeah, P Peter's willing, but he's she's already on a plan. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Sorry, we digress. We're watching customers trying to find their classroom. You know, we have three classrooms here, so sometimes people don't know where they need to go. Hi. So um, when you get here, just ask at the front. They'll they'll tell you where to go. They'll show you. They'll show you where to go. They'll tell you where to go. We'll lead the way. Lead the way. Okay. So this line is stinking cute. It is Benertex. It is called Dino Friends, and special glows in the dark. What? Glows I love it. in the dark. Glow now. If what a could, great way to fall asleep. I know. If we could turn all the lights off in here, it would freak everybody out, first of all. But can you imagine being a little person and having all these little things glow in the dark when you go to bed at night? I'm Aww. loving that. I mean, you could literally just Wait, put this on. Wait, I want all those little things glowing in the dark when I go to bed at night. I do, too. So this is called Dinosaur Friends. Okay, Super I have to stop cute. you right there. Why hasn't anybody done glow-in-the-dark flamingos? I don't know, but I may have to put in a request for that. I mean, you know, when I talk to these vendors, I'm going to say glow-in-the-dark flamingos. Seriously. Okay. We must have glow-in-the-dark flamingos. That would be... Okay, sorry I interrupted, but I just no, have to I throw that out there. No, I think that's an appropriate interrupt. I appreciate that <laughs> concept. That was, that was worth the price of admission, as you would say. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So dinosaur, this is really cute. I know dinosaurs are one that they like. Dino friends, it's dino friends. And you know, sometimes we have a harder time finding the things that are a little more um, boyish as, as far as gender goes. Um, this might be another panel. We've got panels here and we are gonna be putting kits together. So um, they didn't cut the kits till we made the video. Cappy needs to be taller. That's cute. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And even though they're dinosaurs, they're not like scary, creepy faces. Well, I, I like that they did like a tropical theme. Yeah. Well, like versus the, well, a lot of the other dinosaur prints, it's always the darker greens. Yes. The darker forest colors. This is, you know, they got some oranges and some yellows and yeah. some greens. It just, it brightens it up. It brightens it up. I know, now my son is 36 years old. Gosh. And, but when he was a little person, a younger person, he would have adored having this in his room. I can just see him just, and the fact that it glows in the dark is even more awesome. So there's the panels. And you know, for a panel, quick, easy quilt. Panels are quick, easy quilts. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. There it is in a lime green, loving that green. Here are their footprints, I would say. <laughs> so. We were out in um, Arizona where they had the actual, you could see the dinosaur footprints from when the dinosaurs walked there. That's kind of cool. Here's a border print. If you're looking to do um, curtains in a kid's room, those will really do well for border prints. Um, here's some more footprints. Okay, so if I lived in the age of dinosaurs and I had a pet dinosaur, I would not, I would not look forward to trimming those toenails. Yeah, I know. Oh, I had a gal come to my house last night and trim Copper and Smokey's toenails because Oh yeah. I can't catch Smokey. He's too smart. Here's the panel. This is another piece that's How'd got, it go? It was great. She, I, she 
fee was worth what she charged. She came in, and of course the cats were like, "Oh hi, you want to cut my nails here? No problem." I'm like, "Seriously? Oh my god! I can't even get near you." And the minute she walked in, they were like, "Yeah, come on over." So whatever. But that's fine. It was easier for everybody. Nobody got stressed. Okay, look, and now we have, this is a big line. You know, a lot of times the juvenile lines we get in are small. This is bones, dim bones, dim bones. The bone yard. The bone yard, so that's fun. That's a navy. I like how that dark pops against all the bright colors in this. Here's What's... a little bit of orange. Hi, Pam. Here comes Pam. She's going to hide from the video. She always hides. And here's a pretty blue that matches that blue background in the sky. Oh, I love that cerulean so blue. So paint your wall that color and then put these really funny bright colors on there. That pops with those uh, feet prints. Does it? Yeah, Doesn't it, look it pops. good together? Looks awesome together. And these glow, did I say they glow in the dark? Ooh. Can you imagine how fun that's gonna be? How fun would that print be glowing in the dark? Oh, That'd be a great binding right there. That's your binding. Here's the words, original vegetarian. What? Be wild, dynamite, grr, T Rex, king of the dino, roar, dino, dinosaur, party like a dinosaur. Now you know what you can do with that piece right there? Backing. English paper piece. English paper piece, yeah, those little words, would that be fun? Okay, and now we have bones, not just the navy bones, but we have every color of bone here. Look at this. There's blue, there's gray. And there's green. Oh, I missed green. it. Okay, did you see that the green was skeletons? Oh, it is skeletons. So they're going to be glow in the dark skeletons. Oh my god. Okay, make a little hand dim, like you know, no, yeah. cup it like this, like oh. with both hands, and then make a big cup, big cup. Go like, hold on. Okay, I'm not following you. Hold on. Try to go like. Oh. It, well, do it again and I'll try to focus. Because I want the glow and then hide the light. Oh, I don't know that we can. There you go. Do you want to like take it in a, in a room and turn off the lights and we'll. Okay, we'll try that later. We'll, we'll try see that what later. happens. We'll see what we can do. Anyway, it does glow in the dark. There's the line. Lots of fabric to choose from here. <sighs> Dang, pillowcases. Perfect. We just finished the pillowcase project for uh, the month of May, the Moda pillowcase project. But wouldn't this have been a perfect little pillowcase? Oh, my oh that would be go in the dark pillowcase. Okay, so when you're in the car, how fun would that be? So there we go. And I bet you this one right here, the dimensions work out somehow, some way. Oh, I'm sure they do. For I'm the sure pillow. They do. For the pillow, they would probably be perfect. Um, and even this border print would be good for the cuff, you know. Oh my gosh, that one right there, yes, or that one? Yes, yeah. And that's the accent trim. Yep. Wouldn't that be precious? I love your idea. I love that. Would be fun. Be make it make it really really cute. So this is this line is Binertex Dino Friends. If you're interested in it, call the orders department. Another great one to get fat quarters from. I will tell you, we're putting kits together to make a pattern. So um, there won't be a lot of fabric left once we do that because I think they're ten yard bolts. So if you want it, come and get it. Don't wait because it will go fast like a pterodactyl it's gonna fly away but here's the cool part you know how we like to give stuff away now last week we gave away a $25 gift certificate um, to uh, Carol Elson who I think is coming in today to pick that up she said and the next thing we want to give away you ready for this I need a drum roll but since we don't have a drum roll we'll just pretend we received from Wait, you can drum roll on the cardboard there you go there you go. You know, the sad part is my son was a drummer, and he would be mortified that I'm trying to make these noises and they're not coming out. But in any case, we received from Binertex in our order with this shipment a complete set, complete set, of fat quarters. Look here. So this is one fat quarter of every print in the line. And I just told you you could order one and pay for it, but you could win one for free. It's a little piece of the border print. I'm not quite sure why it's just a little piece. And then both of them that they're considering kind of a panel. So you have more than enough here to make a quilt. Um, and we're going to give it away. Just give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it, give away. it away now. Give it away to, to a lucky customer who participates in show and tell. Show and what? Show and tell. So here's well, how you have to tell me more. I'm going to tell you more. So here's how we're going to do this. You're going to show us a picture on our Always in Stitches Insiders Facebook page of a juvenile quilt or a novelty quilt that you made. 
it can be and I mean I, I you know you can go back a long long time if you want or you can do one that you recently made but we want to see a picture that's the show part of the quilt and then on this video where you can comment underneath when you watch the video if you've subscribed you can comment I want you to tell about that picture so you have two parts if you don't do both parts you, you don't you're not gonna get to win okay this is a show and tell YouTube doesn't allow you to post pictures that's why we have to tell on YouTube and show on Facebook okay so show and tell and we will pick a winner but you have to do the show and the tell if you just do the show or just the tell eh, not a winner but somebody is gonna win this entire set now I would suggest that it be someone who maybe would want to use it and make it don't just show it to not win we want you to enjoy it and then we want you to show and tell it again because we're gonna want to see it so fun Glowasaurus. Glowasaurus. Isn't that great? Love okay, it. Okay, so I'm going to set, set this back by my desk and we'll, we'll watch anxiously as we see pictures provide, pictures show up. Okay, I got to reload the cart. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm going to show you the fabric that's on the bottom of the cart because there's more. Okay, we're going in the closet so you can see the glow. And there it is. Look at it glowing! Can you see that, Cappy? I can see it. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Oh, oh wow. Okay. I, That's fantastic. I, Look. I, roar. Roar. So right now, Peter and I are standing in the electrical closet. <laughs> yes. And people are probably hearing Awkward. us talk. Going, what are they doing? And giggling. Gonna, and giggling and having fun. So look how fun that is. That's super cool. I'm so glad we did this. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to look very inconspicuous walking out of the closet. Hey, here we go. Okay. <whistles> Just hanging out in the closet, looking at fabric. No big deal. Da 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 da. <whistles> Let's go look at some more. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. I didn't realize it would be that bright. Yeah, that's bright. Very cool. All right, here we go. I, so much fabric came in this week. I don't know if we can get it all in the video. Lots to look at. Get my workout tape. Another Benetex line. This one is called Rhapsody by Greta Lynn. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black and whites and grays. And if you like that kind of swirly, quirly, let me pull this back a little bit. Oh wow, the plastic is covering up the beauty mess. That's really pretty. Very nice. Very, very nice. And these have a good hand to them too. Got a nice texture. So they've got a nice weight. They're not real, real, real thick. They've kind of got that fine weave. Oh, this is a great piece here. Okay. You know what oh, I'm going to do with this one. That's fantastic. You know what I'm going to do with that one. English paper piece. Now I th as I recall, when we ordered this, there are some fun patterns with this. And I, I have to look and see. This is one that Fat Quarter Bundle would be spectacular. Oh, wow. It'd make the perfect quilt. You know what would be good for this for? I would just get a Fat Quarter Bundle and do a turning 20. I would do a turning 20 with this. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You've got your light, mediums, and darks. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, and you've even got just, just a couple over 20 hmm. pieces, so it would make a, a nice size quilt. Okay, well, my birthday is Saturday, oh, so if my twin is watching and you have some free time between your two babies i'm just saying a turning 20 quilt because i know you got those books and it's it your, well it's she's got the books and it's her favorite quilt to make oh it is you know it's my favorite quilt too honestly okay my birthday is saturday how long does it take you to whip one out uh, you can make one in an afternoon i'm not yes. kidding you you can make a turning 20 quilt in an afternoon it is that fast yes um, especially because of the way that she tells you how to lay the fabric out and how to cut it and then just join the piece. It's one and done. I'm not kidding you. If, you, if you're if you like, oh, I got to have a present. I want to take it in, in the, the parties the next day. Get the turning 20 book and make the basic turning 20 quilt. You'll have it done. I mean, you can make the quilt, quilt it, and have it done by the end of the day. All in one day. Look at this. Oh, um, that's fantastic. I, isn't that great? That is fantastic. 
that'd be a great basic just to have in your stash because you would see a lot of these. Oh, oh the, I love, you know, I'm so glad you're doing this because I can see all the sides of the bolts and yeah. you can see how the prints interact. See how they play? Yeah. Those are your mediums. Now we're into some darks. This is pretty, oh, this is great. This looks like the linoleum in my grandma's house. Oh man, it looks like the little tiles too. Yeah, yeah, I like a mosaic tile. Like in the in the train station in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've not been to the train station in Italy, but I, but that's a mosaic, I can see that. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This one's fun. Looky there, that's a great floral. Ferns. Ferns, left ferns. This is a nice one too. Now this one with English paper. Piece. I talk about it. I'm gonna have to do more English paper piecing. That would be a great English paper piece piece. <sighs> oh my gosh. And these are smaller bolts. These are 10 yard bolts. And more and more what I've ordered has been 10 yard bolts. So I'm gonna recommend if you see it on this show, uh, you need to get it. Don't waste any time. If you see it on this show, be sure to call and tell us yeah. that you want some. Yeah, because they go fast. Most <laughs> when those videos go out on Thursday, Friday, the orders department is swamped usually with everybody's trying to buy what we've shown you today, which is great. That's what we want to do. You know, save the it trip. It keeps them out of trouble. Well, some people just can't help it but get in trouble. I think there's actually 21. One, two, I'm always getting into trouble. Five, five times four. I mean, I can just be sitting at my desk perfectly minding my business and I'll <laughs> still get in trouble. I'll find something to get in trouble. Yeah, he does. You all need to come back and listen to our back room banter sometimes. We, we do have a lot of fun. You can say that. Enthusiastic, educating fun. All right. That is, gosh, three lines. And I, I don't think, I think I may have one more. I thought you have one more one, up there. Two. Oh, I do. The Marcus lines. The which ones? Marcus, the one you were excited about. Oh my gosh, yes, the Marcus lines. There's two, two of Marcus them. Lines. I know. And then we can't forget the, the mugs and, and the, the mugs and the spatulas. Spatulas, so, mugs and spatulas. So I gotta put these back in the cart, return them to have them finish doing their inventory part, and then stay tuned because there's more. All right, we're back at the front of the store now to show you some more fabric. As if we didn't show them enough already, Peter. I mean, gosh, we're just filling them up with fabric today. Um, this is from the Marcus Company, just arrived. It's the Pam Buddha Cheddar and Cole 2. So we had Cheddar and Cole the first time it came through, and here it is again, okay? So Peter's gonna have to do the scan, but dang, these are pretty. But she's added some, some more beiges. The other one was just truly Cheddar and Cole, but um, she's picked up some other colors in this I really, really like. Again, if you want a fat quarter bundle, call the orders department. Um, I know some of the staff. <laughs> we had several on staff jump on the fat quarter bundle opportunity with these. Um, these lots of lots, lots of background noise today. Don't don't let it bother you. That just means we're busy. These are ten yard bolts as well. So um, that's kind of the norm. If you're buying a back, you're going to just about finish out a bolt. You do know that when you buy an entire bolt with us, you get 30% off if there's more than three yards. If there's less than three yards, you get 20% off when you finish a bolt. So if you see one of these here and you work with Cheddar and Cole a lot, it might be worth it for you just to buy the whole bolt and be done. You know, have what you need. The next line we're going to show you is Judy Rothermill. And this one is called uh, Vintage Charm. It is also from the Marcus Fabric Company. So, oh gosh, that one. I'm telling you, look at this one right here. I had to pull this one out. Looky here, that is so pretty. I love the green with the kind of burgundy cranberry color, the navy. Yeah. That's got my vibe. I think that's a handbag. Now, so that's, Fantastic, those shapes. It is, and English paper piece. That would be perfect. English paper piece, yep. the daylight's out of that English one. English paper piece, the nighttime out of that, that one. That one, night and day. So this one has some beautiful navies and greens and cranberry colorish, burgundy, whatever you want to call it. Those florals are fantastic, they are, that leaf. Great. This is really pretty with that cranberry against that navy Oh, it green. is. It's got, it really pops. It does. Fun, 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 fun colors. I'm gonna get I some really of these other Judy. colors over here. Judy and prints. Really that scroll's does. gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, okay, grab the blue and gold that's behind that green scroll. Okay, get it. Because it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's look fantastic. how that pops. Look how that gold pops against that blue. Yeah, they both look yeah. electric. 
Oh, that's that's the little fantastic. dots in the background. I'm gonna. How much do I need for wallpaper, Cappy? Um, well, it depends on the size of the room. But yeah, I don't know that you could do a very big room. But oh. you could do a you could do a, a chair. A chair. You could do a half bath if you had a guest bath, maybe. Man, I want my sewing chair to look like that. Oh, that big! Well, you've got the skull sewing chair. Well, That's I gotta get a new extremes. one. I have to get a new one. Get another I, one. I'm not. I'm Look, not. I love up this skulls. one. Okay, this one's talking to me. Look at that English oh, paper that's PZ. Fun. Wait, wait. Let me get on this angle here because it's like a. Let me get close. English paper piecing on that one. Because the way that floral. So there we go. Cool. This reminds me of like some type of Venetian oh, the pottery. It does, doesn't it? Or the those Italian handmade papers. Yeah, that's really pretty. That scroll work right there. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Judy did a good job. Thank you, Judy, for making pretty Thanks, fabric. Thanks, Judy. We will probably sell this out again. Uh, these are going to be 10 yard bolts. So don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Wait at your own risk. Let me just say it that way. You take a big chance of not getting it. So those two are right here. So if you're rushing in to buy them, get them. Back quarter bundles are available if you want to order them in. Um, okay, let's go look. I got to show you these. We were supposed to show you these in our last What's New video, and I forgot. So, I'm dropping papers. Okay, here we go. So, here we go. Look at these adorable. I know Christmas is a little ways away. I already I, bought one. Did you really? Yep. Which one did you buy? I gifted it to a coworker. Will you guess who? Oh, I know. Probably your twin. No. Her no? mom. Her mom. Oh, her mom. Because okay. she loves Christmas. Remember, she, she plays Christmas she music does. all year long. So, they've stuck. Oh, these are real. No, they're not. Are they? they are real. It's a real rose. But there's no water. Who would put them in there with no water? Really? I don't know. That's fantastic. Those are real. Mary Ann. Even smell. Okay. Mary? Mary Ann brought them in. Okay. Oh, they're cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so Those are these, from her garden, I bet. These, yeah, I bet they probably are. These mugs are stinking cute. I don't know how long we'll be able to keep them or have them, but Christmas isn't that far away. Stick some fat quarters in this and give it to your favorite quilter. Perfect little gift. Or your favorite videographer. Or your favorite videographer, yeah. Because my birthday is this week. These, when's your birthday, Peter? Okay, so back there I said it was Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Did you catch on to that? Yeah, and it's, it's not, not Saturday. It's Sunday. It's he Sunday. Still, he never knows what day of the week it is. We have bought him a really cool <laughs> calendar to keep track of his life. Still never knows what day of the week it is. I don't understand how it's possible. But anyway. All right. The other thing we have are these spatulas, which, you know, if I was your mother, I would probably just like whack you with a spatula. But anyway, these hey, spatulas. Hey, who's not <laughs> saying that she did? <laughs> I know that's true. She probably had to a few times. Um, these spatula set, this is the only set we have left. We have more coming in. These are stinking acute. Again, what a perfect thing. Slide the spatulas down in the mug, put a fat quarter in it, give it to somebody for Christmas. I know Christmas is months and months away, but you got to buy this stuff now because it sells out, right? Well, when the, when we started, we had, I think, eight mugs. Now we're down to four. Down to four, yeah. And, there's, and this isn't the only one. There was another one that we've already sold out of. Um, but just don't let it get away from you um, because it's going to happen. The next thing I need to talk to you about is classes. And I'm actually going to go someplace else because we got a little bit of noise going on yes, here and I want you to be able to hear what I say. Absolutely. So come on back here. All right, so we are back in the hallway that leads to our Joy classroom. Um, it's the biggest classroom in the shop and it typically is the one that we set people up in for classes, especially if they have machines and things. There's another class in the corner back by Yarn that's called uh, Patience and it's a little bit smaller, more intimate for um, like groups that are doing hand stitching. And then there's another classroom right behind this wall that is the uh, classroom for uh, really small groups and for sewing machines, usually three or four, two people, very small groups. Um, so I'm in the hallway that leads to that. There's also our offices are back here. There's the staff break room. A lot of signs that say don't go here, which is kind of the case because that's where our business is being managed by the staff. So. Um, if you get back here and you open the wrong door, we may say, hey, wait, go on that way, but we still, we're still glad you're here. Hop along, Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy. Um, so we always have coffee here where you can get a cup of coffee if you want. You can zoom by. Zoom through. Just yeah, zoom through. through. That's fine. <laughs> this is um, a real store, folks. It's a real store. We're working. Um, but this cabinet is here, and each month or two, three, something like that, two or three months, one of our staff members fills it with fun, goody, interesting things. Most of these things have either been donated to the shop I talked to you last time about our donated quilts, but again, when we get those big boxes of stuff that people don't always know about um, what to do with their leftover stuff, we get a lot of, you know, old patterns and buttons and scissors and 
um, you know, needle craft books and just fun stuff um, that is interesting. It's kind of our little museum, I guess you could call it, uh, our own little history museum. Of Could you say it's our cabinet of curiosity? Our cabinets of curiosities. And it changes seasonally. So if you come back and get a cup of coffee and would like to have an opportunity to um, kind of glance at this, um, Grandma Ginger does it for us. So, you know, give her a, a kudos for all the effort and time she puts in to make this cabinet something fun and interesting that you don't maybe see in every quilt store. I have to admit, one of my favorite things is is usually she does it on a Saturday. Um, so when I'm working, I usually get to see the stuff when she puts <laughs> it in. It's And I gotta admit, it's fun to see her decorate it. Yeah. Because she takes so much time and thought and puts a lot of careful really energy into figuring out she what to really, put where really and what to put in there. It is a lot of fun. So there's just, we, we are so blessed here because so many of our customers feel like we're family. And so when it comes time to figure out what to do with those heirlooms and they can't always find someone to take them, we do end up with them. And so we take care of them. Believe me, it's, we don't take it lightly that those things are entrusted to our care. And so we do so with the idea that we're going to take care of it for you and, and give it a place to be seen. So, so Cappy, do you know that when I used to come here, when I didn't work here, and I would sit in it. Do you know why I came to Always the Stitches? You'll never know why. Okay, then I don't know. Tell me. For the Keurig. For the Keurig. Oh, for the yep. coffee. Yep. <laughs> because what my favorite thing to do is, well, and because Lenine has those chairs, yeah, my favorite chairs. thing to do was to go ahead, brew a cup of coffee, and then sit in one of the comfy chairs, and just sit in it for a couple hours, and then go home. Yeah. I loved it. it it's You're fine. Sanctuary. You can come through. Come on through. Um, it's, this is a sanctuary. We got in trouble. We got in trouble because we're making too much noise with their class. Um, this is a sanctuary for a lot of people to come and learn. And that's what's going on right now. It's a class and we were making more noise than they could hear. So this is a place where people come. They come to learn. They come to just sit and stitch. Um, the store was opened with the idea that it's a safe place for people to come and hang out. And if you purchase something, that's great. But if you just need some place for some retail therapy, um, to just sit and soak up the beauty of what's around you, we're, you're welcome to come in as well. We really want to want you to be part of our family. So, what I want to tell you is, and the class that's going on is actually one of these in the series. Uh, Mary Bouvier, who we've spoken about, has a fabric uh, painting class that's opened up for July, and a free motion class that's also opened up for July. And then those of you who took her previous fabric uh, free motion classes. She now is offering continuing education. So you have to have taken her previous classes in order to take those to register. Um, and she'll have a list and know who has and hasn't done that. So when you register, be sure you're not registering for a continuing class unless you've taken a previous class. Those are going to be on the website. Um, there's also some other classes that came up. Um, some of them are cross-stitched, so I'm going to leave those for Lenine to talk about in her floss tube video. Um, but we're always adding classes, so be sure to take a peek and see what's available um, on there. And then the other thing I have to show you today on this video is our project of the month. So last month we talked about the pillowcase that we were going to make and you guys did a great job making some beautiful pillowcases. And now we're going to move on to our next project. So I'm going to meet you at the sewing machine now. Thanks. Okay, now we are in the studio. We, we've been everywhere in, we've been in closets. <laughs> We've been in the studio, we've been out on the sales floor, we've, we kind of just took you a tour of the whole shop today, places you don't normally see. You don't get to see the inside of our electrical closet. But if you ever want to look, it's labeled electrical, and you can just open the door and look. There's really nothing in there of any interest whatsoever, but whatever. Um, okay, we are doing the Moda Summer Sewing Program for 2023, and last month you made pillows. They were so cute. So, so cute. Um, and it, it and people came in the first of June and said, "Can I still get the pillow pattern?" The answer is yes. Go to our website, scroll down um, to about the middle of the page ish. You know, which you know that's kind of funny. You don't know where the middle is until you've been to the end. So, so you gotta scroll down to the end <laughs> and, and then go scroll back. back up to the middle. <laughs> well, just trust me. Scroll. You'll see this little Moda Summer Sewing Sunshine thing. And then right below that, it'll say May pattern and June pattern. So if you need the May pattern, it will still be available. We're going to leave it up there for a while. I have hair in my face. Um, I'm like a cat. <laughs> I'm doing the cat thing. 
Um, so that pattern will be there, and the June pattern's available there as well. If uh, you don't have internet access, you can call the shop and we will mail one to you by snail mail. If you have an email address, we will email it to you. Uh, you can walk in the store and pick one up. We want to get this pattern in your hands, and it's free. Everybody loves free. That's the best way to get something. Um, so, this pattern is a rag quilt. We're making a, a rag quilt with basic cotton fabrics. It's not, uh, it doesn't have to be flannel, it doesn't have to be woven, it doesn't have to be homespun. It can be. Um, if you want the frayed edges to be colorful as well as um, just the, the white backing, you might want to pick a woven or a, a batik because it'll do that a little better. But, um, but there's no reason you can't just use plain cotton fabric. Um, and I told you last week you need seven yards. That's still true. You need seven yards or you can use 11 different fabrics, two thirds of a yard each. Whatever works for you. Um, and then the best, easiest way is charm, is a layer cake. If you buy two layer cakes, you have enough squares to do the entire quilt. So I showed you last week that I chose K Facet and coincidentally, I'm wearing a K-Facet shirt today. Just saying, didn't plan it that way, but <laughs> things happen. So I have two layer cakes, <clears throat> and these two layer cakes are, are, one is kind of in blues and one's kind of in reds. Um, and so I just, from the two stacks of layer cakes, I pick one layer cake, or one layer cake, one layer, put it on top of the other layer, line up the corners, like that. Now if you cut all your 10 inch squares, the same rule is going to apply. And you can, you know, think about how you want the colors on the back and the front, if you want them the same, if you want them different. Um, it's really free form. <clears throat> Do what makes you happy. So I put those two pieces together. In the instructions, they suggest that you might want to put binder clips on there to do that, to hold it a little bit, just to keep the square in place. And I'm kind of excited about using this K fabric because it's it's a it's the weight of the fabric is such that I think this is going to really fray out pretty. Um, okay, so they suggest putting these binder clips on here, which, meh, I don't care. I'm doing it because she right says right sides so. or wrong sides. Oh, right sides. <laughs> Durr. Do what I say, not what I do. No, wait a minute. Do as I set. No. Do wait. what I say, not what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. that's it. So what oh, I said pretty. was wrong. What I said was wrong. Do what I'm doing now. Because <laughs> I was like looking at it through the camera I'm like, oh, I know. What? it's not as colorful as the other ones. I know. Well, but okay, but let's say, let me say something. I've heard you. Yeah. So let's, Cave Facets fabrics are just stunningly bright. But I have heard people say, oh, they're just too much for me. There is nothing that says you can't use the back That's of the fabric for the front of the, the fabric. Back. Look at that. If you and, and even in a quilt, if you need your high and low contrast, it's like is, a low volume print. It's like a low volume print, and and just because one's called the front and one's called the back doesn't mean it is the front and the back. You are the artist. You create it however you want. Now with batiks, the front and the back are typically the same, <laughs> but when you come to the fabric that have been printed, the back side is always going to be a little paler. I did a quilt one time that had blues in it, and I needed just this muted blue and I couldn't find it so I bought a solid and I used the wrong side it was the perfect color nice so you know think about your fabric it has two sides that sometimes you can use but in this side I mean I could put that side out if I wanted but would you say that some people have two sides two faces two faces yeah two sets a two-sided quilt and that's the other thing when Peter and I were talking about picking out fabric I'm trying to decide, do I, well, I've decided, but at the time we were discussing. I see how you decided, too. Yeah. Good we were choice. discussing, do I do all the blue prints on the back side and all the red prints on the front side so that the quilt has a blue side and a red side? Eh, you know, it's, again, it's your quilt. Oh, okay. what did you decide? Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to suspend. For the reveal. For the reveal. For the reveal. Well, we'll Two have weeks. A, a mini reveal today because I'm going to show you just a uh, scooch. Okay. So this suggests that you bind or clip these in place. I don't think that's a bad idea by any means. I think it helps hold it straight. And then we're gonna go to our sewing machine. I recommended a 40 weight thread. I'm standing by that because when you quilt, when you sew it, that 40 weight gives a nice top stitch because this really is basically just a top stitch. You're not doing all the little piecing. And the 40 weight thread I think gives it a nice dimension. Um, 
and I'm using a size 12 needle, which um, I'm using a 12 needle because Kafe's fabric is fairly finely woven. And to put that thicker thread through there, I don't want to go too big of a needle or it's going to be too big for the weight of the fabric. So typically with a 40 weight thread, I'm going to go to a 14 needle, but I, I, I'm going with a 12 to try and balance the fact that my fiber, my, my fabric is fairly fine and my thread is kind of thick. So I'm, I'm pushing the envelope a little bit on the extremes of these two, but it's, it works. It really does work. Um, my stitch length is set at 2.4, which is, which is a fine stitch length. You don't want it too long, you don't want it too short. Too tiny, I'm not piecing, so I don't need like 1.7. 3.0 is a little big for this is the only thing that holds the quilt together. So I like a 2.4, it's a nice length. This sewing machine has a delightful little stitch that locks at the beginning, and when you stop, it locks at the end. That is super duper ooper ooper importante and the reason that it is is when you sew these quilts together if you have not locked the stitches where you've sewn across here where you sew across here it's gonna come apart and I've made oodles and caboodles of these and I can tell you that the ones that I made early that I didn't lock when I started they unraveled and I had to sew them again which was not a big deal but you don't want to have to do that the other tip that I'm going to tell you is let me find one that I've sewn. The other trick that I'm going to tell you is I want you to start sewing about a half an inch in from each side. So there's my point and I in, in initially I measured it and I marked where my half inch mark was. And then I went on this side and I marked where my half inch mark was from here to here. So I measured a half an inch in and a half an inch in. So a little half inch square. The reason I did that is when you sew these together, you don't necessarily want that piece up there sewn because it makes a funny little wonky corner when you join your four corners together. I don't like the way that looks. You know what? That right there is worth the price of admission, <laughs> that tip. There you go. Uh, just trust me, I've made a few rag quilts and this is the way it works. So I'm locking the stitch at the beginning, I'm sewing down the center, I'm locking the stitch at the end, and I'm stopping a half an inch out from each of these corners here. So there's a half inch square and from there to there is actually three fourths of an inch. I mean, if you really want to measure it. Um, but as I keep saying, I want you to know your sewing machine. Um, I've used something to help me find the center because I don't want to, this is fast, this is fun, right? That's the, that's the, that's in the title of the name of the quilt. It's Fast and Furious. Fast, yeah, Fast and they Furious. They should have called it Fast and Furious, fast and furious. Summer Quilt. <laughs> fast, fun, okay, I want fast, I want fun. <clears throat> so in order to do that, I've set my machine with the stitch that locks at the beginning and the end, and so it, so I just start sewing and stop sewing. I don't have to go forward and backwards. If your machine doesn't do that, you're probably gonna have to go forward and backwards. If you want one that does that automatically, come see us. We'll hook you up with a Janome. Is someone dying back there? Hello, peanut gallery. Sorry. It's okay. Someone was choking to death. We were. They got a hairball. They got a hairball. Big old cat back there is hacking up a big frog. Hairball. Jumped down the throat. Something like that. Um, okay, so you're sewing in three quarters of an inch from the point or a half inch from each side. Now, when I sew on this machine, I know this machine and I, well, not this exact machine. This copy, this, is the this sister, version. This is the sister of Big my sister. Big sister or small sister? Well, they're the same machine. It's a, it's a memory craft 6700. So it's the twin. It's the twin. It's the twinsy. But because I've sewn on this exact model and this machine, I know when I look at my presser foot, exactly, and I didn't bring my stylus, because I had to run home real quick and get stuff to do this presentation. Um, when I look at, when I'm sewing, I, I've sewn enough of these now that I know that when the point is all the way underneath here and the sides of that catch right about there, I'm three quarters of an inch in. So mark it for the first time that you do the first 10 or 12, and then eventually kind of pay attention of, oh, okay, well, if I lay my fabric right there, I'm exactly where I need to be to start. So, or mark every one of them. It's whatever makes you feel good. I don't care. I'm not judging. I'm not judging here. Now, the next thing I did was I put some of this quarter inch seam tape on, on my machine. Y'all have heard us talk about this before. This is a amazing product. 
you use it to mark where your quarter inch, and see right now this red line is directly in line with where my zipper foot, with, with where my needle stitches. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to draw, I'm going to sew from point to point, okay? From the point here to the point there. And I want to do that in a straight line. Well, I don't want to draw a line. Remember, fast and fun. So It is not fun to draw oh, 84, gosh. 88, Right. However, well, many you don't diagonals. have to draw it on one side. You could draw it on both sides, but I don't oh, think you're going to sew. Okay, so 44. <laughs> good point. Good point. Okay, so I know that on this machine, these, I'd rather be enjoying my birthday. I'm not. I, yeah, the birthday's coming. Everybody needs to send Peter a birthday card. I'm just saying, 1808 East Connor Street, Noblesville, Indiana. Send Peter a birthday card, please. Okay, there we go. Now. I know when that fabric sits right there and right there that I'm in three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to start sewing, and it does my little lock stitch. Oh, and we're really fast. Man, that I know. Is fast. It's supposed to be fast and fun. But it was supposed to be fast. So I didn't know what happened. <laughs> and then what I do is, as I get up here, see, I put that point right on that red line, and I just follow that red line all the way up. Okay, wait, I'm going to stop for just a second because I'm going to slow this down. Oh. So then I will stop three quarters, of, uh, three quarters of an inch from here to here, or that's a half inch here and here. This is geometry, folks. And let's go a little faster. And then I'm going to stop sewing right there, and it locks my stitch for me. Now, I did that one kind of slow. But I will tell you, the fast and fun part of this really happens. Um, and there's my stitch right across the center. I picked I, a burgundy colored thread because you had to match one side or the other. And here I go again. And so I just sit and did these, and I did a whole bunch of them the other night. I was amazed how fast they went. But now I'm just going to sew. I'm going to line my belly button up with the needle because that's going to make me sew straighter unless your belly button's like on your forehead and then it might not work. Well, Don said, what if it's off to one side? Yeah, she says off, your belly button's off to one side. And I was like, okay, you know, anatomically, that concerns me a little bit, but whatever. All right, there we go. So there I did a square. Look how quick that was. Now, think about this, because we were talking about it, and Peter said, gosh, that's a lot of fabric for just the quilt top. Well, you're doing the top and the back at the same time. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do both sides, but I'm done. It's like basically a quilt-as-you-go quilt. Here's a whole stack of these that I've done. And I just picked from one side and the other. You can see my lines going straight across. Stop three quarters of an inch and lock the stitch. If you leave that unlocked, you're going to regret it later. Okay? That, that's worth the price of admission if I didn't right. already say it. Lock the stitch. Okay. And then just make these X's and do that on all of your pieces. You should end up with 40. Well, if I have 42 in this kit, I'm going to end up with 41. How's that? Oh, 42 pieces each. So I'm going to end up with 21 squares. And look at these fun. I'm just, these are so fun. So the debate that... that 40 we, some squares. 40 some squares. Because you, you, you got two, 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 layer two, cakes. two layer cakes. I'm doing the math. You're doing the math. There you go. So anyway, there's all my charts. Those are gorgeous. Are That's going to be fantastic. Now, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Man. I want you to do this part this week. I want you to get all your squares sewn together. And then I want you, if you've got a design wall, if you don't have a design wall, use your bed. I want you to lay your squares out and get a sense of how do I want them to look. So do you want to put, like for me, I had to decide, do I want all the blue on one side and all the red on the other? Do I want to alternate? Do I want to make a pattern? Do I want to just do random? You can literally take all these after you've sewn them, drop them in a bag, and just pick one out randomly and just do them as they show up. There's nothing wrong with that. Fast and fun. Fast and fun. But if you want to kind of think about a pattern, you know, you could have used solids and used a print on the back and have the whole back of the quilt be a solid color and the whole front be prints. So that's another way you can do it. This is, we want to see your creativity on this, okay? Um, next. I, I love, I just actually love your idea. It resonated with me. One layer cake. Yes. Get assorted solids, yeah. assorted solids that you like to coordinate. I love that idea. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, because then you, then you have the print on one side and the solid on the other. Um, or use the print, mix it, do a solid yeah, stripe, do like it, a big X it. down the middle. You could spell out letters because these are all just 10 out squares. You know, you could make the letter of your family, you know, if you have, if 
like a big S or a big P, whatever your initial is for your family, you can lay it out that way. We'll start laying them out once you've sewn them all together. So this week the job is to sew all 42 squares, they're two-sided, 42 squares, into the 10 inch squares starting three quarters of an inch in or mark it a little half inch square in that corner and start sewing there. Um, Mine's already starting to fray a little bit, which is just making me really, really happy. Um, I will kind of give you a little tease because then we're going to sew these together in rows and we're going to be doing something like this. And now you can see I've decided, it's very random, to let mine be alternating. Did you put them all in a bag and just grab one out? I, I just kind of threw them out and kind of let them land the way they landed. The grab bag. Grab bag. You know, I so, like the grab bag idea. Yeah, it's kind of... It takes the pressure off of it. It does take the pressure. It makes it fun. So don't sew the, don't sew the rows together. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm not there to monitor. But I would like to... I have some tips for you as well on sewing these rows together so that you get a nice finish when you put your quilt on. Yeah. So if you could just... Stay with us. Don't anticipate. Just participate. participate. And uh, just get all your squares sewn together. Um, my my tool is this little seam tape. If you don't have some of this, get it. The binder clips are great. Um, they do recommend using these little numbered, like to match your rows all up. I'll give you a tip. Post-it notes. I'm not making any money off that, but post-it notes are the bomb. I use post-it notes probably more in my sewing machine room than I've ever used in an office. So, <laughs> <laughs> Just so that's the that. truth. That is the truth. Okay, that's it. Quick, fast, fun. Um, post your progress on our Always in Stitches Insiders page. J you know, show us what your fabric is. Show us what you're thinking about on how you're going to sew them together. Um, tell me if the trick worked for you to start in three quarters of an inch. Maybe you know another way to start in that little square, you know, that just little bit in. Um, Maybe you've made more of them than I have. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. There, I'm sure there's, believe me, the audience I'm speaking to is like preaching to the choir band because they already know the, the sermon, right? Okay, that's it for this week. I can't wait to see what you've done. Happy stitching.